When it comes to human tracking, every footprint, broken branch, and turned leaf has meaning. Right here, we've got the grass is all pushed forward. Detective Richard Chipping is one of the only court-recognized and nationally certified human trackers in the state of Utah. Over the past decade, he's spent nearly $10,000 out of his own pocket to hone the skill. Tracking is just like any other investigative tool that we use. It's, it's merely observing and being able to interpret, interpret the information that you receive, you know, either through your ears, your eyes, or anything else. Sounds easy enough, right? Wrong. It's meticulous and time-consuming work. We're not running around shooting guns. But it's a skill these off-duty police officers see value in. This would be very helpful in situations where we need to be tracking somebody. Just an extra uh, tool in the toolkit, you know, something else, something else to draw from. In recent years, tracking has played a part in many cases. Most notably, Detective Chipping's skills put officers on the right path towards 14-year-old Stephen Smith, a teen with mild autism who wandered away from his family at This Is The Place Heritage Park last year. Why are we up here instead of being down in the city? Detective Chipping is now passing that skill of human tracking along to others in the law enforcement community, both in the classroom and in the field. Broken completely right there. It's more about me being able to get you to realize that wherever someone's gone, they're going to leave sign of themselves. It's just a matter of recognizing that. And